What's going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. So Qualcomm announced their latest chipset, the Snapdragon 855 yesterday. And today we got to see what it's all about as Qualcomm shared more information on what it has to offer for the next decade and next generation of smartphones or just mobile platforms in general. From the long session of a lot of information, uh, four things really stood out for me. First up, we've got processing power. For the next generation of smartphones powered by the new 855 chipset, you can expect improvements in power efficiency and processing power. With a Cairo 845 CPU, the 855 chip is 45% faster than the 845 and 25% faster for graphics as well. Going forward, AI is only gonna get more involved in what we do with our smartphones and the 855 will have Qualcomm's fourth generation multi-core AI engine, which is capable of seven trillion operations per second. That is a lot. With the new Exagon 690 processor, AI processing will be a lot faster for things like voice assistant, image recognition, and more. Next up is connectivity. And just like in our recent video with the tech chap, where we discussed how important it would be and how great it would be to get 5G, well, with the new 855, you get 5G with Snapdragon X50 modem to connect to both MM Wave and six gigahertz 5G bands. Assuming you leave in the 5G area, you'd be able to take advantage of that multi-gigabit internet speeds, meaning faster downloads, and not just only faster, you get faster and reliable streaming and even for real-time AR connectivity or things like 5G hologram calls or just 5G calls in general with low latency. Working with Qualcomm and EE in the UK, the next OnePlus flagship device, possibly the OnePlus 7, will be the first device to add 5G on EE network, perhaps followed by Samsung and everyone else. It doesn't stop there though, with that super fast speed, you also get 67% better power efficiency. Next up is entertainment. With the new 855, you get support for up to 8K VR, HDR10 plus video playback, upgraded aptX audio codec, and when gaming you can expect up to 90% drop in frame and external display support on up to two displays up to 4K in HDR as well, which is pretty cool. Qualcomm also announced Snapdragon Elite Gaming, which will support gaming in true HDR. It will offer physically based rendering to recreate textures in games by drawing from readily available templates, basically bringing mobile gaming graphics closer to console level experience. Finally, we have camera. And as I've said many times before, the future of mobile photography is computational photography. With Spectra 380 image signal processor, you get support for hardware-based depth sensing to enable video recording, object classification and segmentation in real time at 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. The 855 features the world's first computer vision image signal processing, which should result in extreme speed boost and four times power savings too. What's also exciting is 4K HDR video in portrait mode with object tracking too. You can change the background in real time and there's also cinema graph. Lastly, Qualcomm also mentioned a new image file format called HEIF. HIF, maybe? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. This will basically capture more image uh, information. So for example, this will capture computer vision data, which then allow you to then do more post-processing activity. So if you want to bring out more details, you'll be able to do that very easily. Qualcomm also mentioned 3D ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that's built into the screen. So what's good about this is what stood out for me, especially for this, is the fact that even with wet fingers, you'll be able to still use your fingerprint to unlock your phone, which is pretty cool on the screen as well. Overall, I'm super excited for the next decade of smartphones and mobile platform in general. It means we get faster data speeds, better gaming and entertainment experience, smarter and more intelligent AI. And my favorite thing, photography, would be a lot more better than what we know now. Over to you guys, what do you think? Are you excited for the future? What are you most excited about? Drop a comment below and tell me why as well. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time we upload a video on this channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.